Hey, what's up traders to watch this video here for the last day, last trading day, well, last day period of January, um, Tuesday, January 31st. The SPY kind of rolling over today. It's worth noting the um, FOMC decision is Wednesday and typically the action this week is not, you know, on, on FOMC weeks, not my favorite. It's usually uh, things are kind of on hold until the announcement. You get chaos after the announcement, so we'll see. Um, but here's the intraday of the SPY, literally just bled lower slowly all day long, which is not a great scenario for a day trader that's kind of long biased, right? Like myself, not a lot of setups. Um, I will give one hat tip. I think it was Matt D, correct me if I'm wrong later tomorrow in chat, um, that gave the second mouse idea in Carvana, CVNA, which had a big rip out of the gate. We already had it on watch. Then it kind of flagged. His idea was back through 10. Uh, Kevin P, I think, reiterated that. And it's one of those, the stop may have been like 30 to 40 cents below, but it's one of those that worked right away. So you only had that risk for like a minute or two, and then you can get to a break-even stop and start scaling out. So it was a nice call, but there not a lot of highlights. You can see the breakout in CVNA today. So um, it will be back on the list for tomorrow. And let me just go into what else I'm watching tomorrow. Um, I do want to put up the explanation of what I do real quick. There, let me throw that on there. If you want to read the whole thing, pause the video. I just want everyone that watches my videos to know I'm a day trader, a pure play day trader, if you will. Uh, make my money between the bells and cash every night. Um, so this list is just some stocks that I will have on charts, but I'm not in any of them. I'm hoping to find trades in them tomorrow, only with an A-plus intraday setup. All right, with all that said, BBAI was my favorite today after it did this because you had the gap up, it sold off, it took out the highs, but had to come a long way to get there. And then look like it was rolling over and then boom, right back through the highs. And this is the moment I realized, okay, bulls are in charge. I try to pull back, play um, that I got filled, but then I had to kill it. I only killed it for like a three cent loss, but I never found like an easy way in this damn thing. Um, it ended up going out pretty close to the highs. Uh, after hours, it's trading at 440 right now, and I, I wasn't around right after the closing bell, so I didn't even have a chance to try to trade it in after hours. All right, anyway, with all that said, you had the gap up back here on that good news. Um, probably a lot of shorts in it, and now you've got some shorts trapped. I'm sure a lot of them covered today, but the daily chart certainly looks like it might keep going, so we are going to put this one on watch for tomorrow. GNS, um, just because I'm a day trader and it's crazy action lately, I'm going to watch it, but I feel like it needs to come back down to those moving averages. Um, kind of an ugly candle today. CVNA already talked about that. The breakout today, we're going to see if we get any follow through tomorrow. HSCS, big breakout today. We'll watch for a follow through day tomorrow. FOXO, kind of a sleeper play. It's in the AI space that I've been saying the trading world is trying to make AI a thing. Um, and it may become a thing, I don't know, but right now um, this is in that space. So, Yesterday, I should say Friday, went from 55 cents to $1.45, and then today kind of a quiet inside day, so I'm looking for a third day play set up there. BZFD, I'm putting on Bounce Watch, had this huge two-day rip, one day down on much lower volume. I would like to see, those of you that know me, I'd like to see another red day, and then it would probably be my favorite setup, but sometimes the stock is so strong, you get a big two-day rip, you get one red day, and it's right back off to the races, so it will be on a chart tomorrow. Um, speaking of AI, this is actually the symbol for this stock. Um, had a kind of a breakout on Friday, pullback today on lower volume, looking for a third day play there. MGOL is my sleeper pick. Um, and it is just, it went public, what, like a couple weeks ago. And the interesting thing is it has not broken a previous day's high yet. You talk about a slow bleed. So there's nothing that tells me it's going to bounce tomorrow, but I am going to put it on bounce watch. Um, XPON had a nice pop back here, nice secondary pop here, and then tried to get going again. So that one goes on watch. WISA, nice volume today. Recent reverse split, so we're going to watch that one. And then lastly, oops, SOUN um, had an inside day on for after Friday's big range. That one goes on watch as well. We'll add gappers to the list in pre market. Um, it might be dead again tomorrow because FOMC Wednesday, but hopefully we'll find something to trade. I'm done babbling. I'll see you guys in chat.